we're going to prove the sum rule for sigma notation. The summation as i goes from 1 to n of ai plus bi, this is simply the sum as i goes from 1 to n of ai plus the sum is i go from 1 to n of bi. The proof is straightforward. The summation as i goes from 1 to n, so i is 1 in here. So I write a1 plus b1 plus oh, a i. Let me try that again too. <laughs> the summation of AI plus BI. So I write this down, but first, but I replace I with 1. So I get A1 plus B1 plus, now I is 2. So I replace all the I's with 2. A2 plus B2. And I do this all the way up to I is N. And I replace the i's with n. So I get a n plus b n. But these are real numbers. I can rearrange them. I want it to look like a1 plus a2 all the way up to a n. So I added those numbers. And now I'm going to add on the b1 plus b2 all the way up to b n. Well, this is just the summation of ai as i goes from 1 to n, 1 to n, plus, actually, let's do this with plus or minus, so these might be minuses, and if they were minuses, I can factor out that minus sign, so when you read this, there's two ways of reading this proof. First, read it with the top symbol. Read it with just the top symbol. And we're going to get summation of AI plus the summation of BI. So this is the summation of BI as I go from 1 to N. Or, you can read it with the bottom sign. You can read it with the bottom sign. Every time there's a bottom sign, you should read it. And the bottom sign is minus. So, I got both proofs in one shot. That finishes these two proofs.